Man, I know this motherfucker's famous, but goddamn. Yeah. Somebody. Like, that, somebody. It's please. like he's making fun of me. Right yeah. Now. It's like it's like that that's not British. You are a deaf person. Goodbye, Mary Puppies. Don't stay away too long. <laughs> don't, don't do what? <laughs> the fuck he says? Wait a minute, oh shit. I no, you know, I, I I probably would have done something when I got there. You know, I would have jumped in and probably. <laughs> like bro, please, you just got through. <laughs> no, Billy, I would have given her a shirt from DTMerch.com. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, people. Why are you fighting when you have all these wonderful Christmas sweaters here? Where'd you get this toasty goodness all, all in your the, body? All this toasty goodness. Who, who can fight then? Who, Martin? Exactly. Who can fight with that toasty goodness all over their body? You know, I'm sure everybody's calmed down when they see that classic tee with the white logo. Oh, man, put all that hatred in this backpack. <laughs> Just walk away. When you do decide to subscribe, remember that we make it so easy for you. We have a new payment system out there. Very efficient. And it's easier, more than ever, to get that toasty goodness all over that body Yo, right body. There. body. As I said, man, we're going to get into this. Get into this Mary Poppins here. Just in time. We're going to pop them, off. We're going to pop off, man. Just time to get them little badass kids off your hands. <laughs> Come up there and give them a spoonful of sugar. Get them all hyped up. <laughs> yeah, take these motherfuckers back. I don't even. <laughs> but. <laughs> spoonful of heroin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Mary Poppins, man. A lot of people, they might know Mary Poppins in many ways. A lot, well, a lot of times people don't know that Mary Poppins is from a series of books. Eight books out there about the magical nanny from P.L. P. Trevers. And went on for a long time. Long time. These, these books span, eight books, man. They span from 1934 to 1988. Damn. Mary Poppins. Wow. She been whooping them kids' ass for <laughs> a long time. Decades. <laughs> 50 years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she been, she been floating for a long time on that umbrella right there. Now, a lot of people don't know the books because a lot of people actually might know Mary Poppins from the 1964 Disney classic. Mary Poppins. For a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Dick Van Dyke, as you've never seen him before. And that, <laughs> I like the way she's. I like the way she's looking at him. She like he's high as fuck. Right now. <laughs> As I said, you know, this starred Julie Andrews as the title character and also the very bad accent of Dick, Dick Van Dyke. Goodbye, Mary Poppins. Don't stay away too long. She's like, what? What? What, what? Wait, what wait, the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's like one of the, the, those are the pikeys from uh, yeah. Snatch. Yeah. How many marbles do you have in your mouth? Right now. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Oh, and you know, know Julie Andrews is pissed because her being really yeah. British, you know, on set, she was uh, like, man, I know this motherfucker's famous, but goddamn. Yeah. Somebody, like, that, somebody, it's please. It's like he's making fun of me. Right yeah. Now. It's like, it's like that. that's not British. You are a deaf person. Goodbye, Mary Poppins. Don't stay away too long. <laughs> don't, don't do what? <laughs> the fuck he says? Wait a minute. Oh, shit. But you know what? This, this, is, uh, this, this is the, now this is the sequel to Mary Poppins that we have here. And Oh, it's a sequel. Yeah. It is a sequel. Oh, okay. Mary Poppins returned. Mary Poppins oh, has oh. returned. And you know, Mary Poppins only comes around when people absolutely <laughs> positively need her. And it's been years later since we've had the Baker children, mm -hmm. I believe, that Mary Poppins has uh has ba babysat them, nannied them. And now the Banks children. The Banks, the Banks. There you go. Thank you. The Banks children. It's funny because they actually, uh, the father worked at a bank, yeah. as does the son who's all grown up now, who has children of his own. And as I said, Mary Poppins only comes down when she absolutely has to, when she says, boy, that man's about to fuck these kids up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I didn't taught him. Let, let me get, like, yeah, like, his like, father taught him nothing about yeah. finance. <laughs> like that, like this man played by Ben Winshaw, he has three children of his own and they about to get put out on the street. <laughs> That middle one looks like about to kill somebody. The, that, the, you know what? And the kids are Always actually the kids are actually the ones that have to go out there. They buy the groceries. They trying to pay the bills. Oh, you know, shit. They, yeah, because because daddy ain't got shit together. The, the the nanny that they have, she's half mentally ill. Yeah, oh. and and the kids are kind of on their own. They're sort of raising themselves. At this yeah, point. and yeah. the reason why is because 
Mr. Banks, his, his, his wife has died. He's all on his own. So he's still kind of grieving. It hasn't even been a year. So Mary Poppins come down and said, before he <laughs> messes these kids, oh, look, let me go down here and help them, man. Wait, you notice how the dad is really grieving over the loss of his wife, but the kids don't give a shit about mom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> I didn't really think about it until just actually, now. <laughs> no, actually, they, you know, they, they do. They just ain't got time. <laughs> they, like, they, like, they got bills to pay. Yeah, they got their grocery shopping. They got bills to pay. Like, God damn, daddy, we want to cry too. <laughs> but shit, I know, I, know, I know the moment we sit down and put our heads down, the light's going to go off and we're going to go hungry. <laughs> I want to cry too, damn, but I, I got to finish these taxes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mary Poppins has to come down. She's like, shit, all right. It has to float down again to help the next generation of Banks children. This time we have Mary Poppins played by... Emily Blunt, who a lot of people are saying she's doing a wonderful job at the hmm. at this role of the newest version of Mary Poppins. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. That's why I live and breathe. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that kid is like, wait a minute, do you not know there's a woman <laughs> that we're flying instead of a kite right now? We're about to lose our home. Everything's fallen to pieces since your mother. The kids are like, get your shit together, man. Look. We are hungry. <laughs> Will you get your ass up and be a man? Off we go. One of the things that they've done is they have managed to somewhat capture the spirit of of Mary Poppins with this. And and I told you that the family, they really do need uh, Mary Poppins at this moment. It is kind of touching with the dad, you know, with the whole story. The mother has, has died and everything. Father can hardly get any work, you know, when he's not actually Freddie Mercury in a queen cover band. He's he's, he's working, he's working part time at a bank and he's just having, he really is, you know, apart from grieving, he really is having a hard time finding work. And that house is about to be repossessed. So, you know, they, what they've done is they kind of, I guess they've taken a more serious, a dire situation and now tried to show you why Mary Poppins is really needed here. And it really is, uh, the, I would say from uh, the point of view of watching Emily Blunt come into, uh, come into play in the movie, she really is magical, man. They, she really does bring a magical spirit to the movie. And that's, that's after... You see her entrance because she really is kind of a it's 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 kind of unsettling when she comes in to the movie. Well, did you know how like the lead up to her coming in was a lot like it? Yeah, because <laughs> you had a little kid named Georgie who breaks off from and starts chasing something he's not supposed to. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> that is true. Uh, a kite or a that is true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it and it's, it looks like some Stephen King shit. Like there's there's a storm going and. You know, it's, it's violent outside, and then, uh, you know, the clouds all dark, and then, you know, they part for her, and she comes down from the, hello, Georgie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she all comes, live and breathe. Yeah, and it's, and it's almost like, like Jesus can't, get a, can't even get an entrance like that, you know? <laughs> and it's weird when she, get, when she first gets there because they set up the world to be so real. And so dirty, and and, and oh yeah, and it's, so, and, it's London in the height of that industrial age. Yeah, <laughs> where, yeah, where people are you know getting cancer from the, from cold uh, spewing into the sky. <laughs> Black it's, plague. Yeah, I'm joking. And it just <laughs> and they made it so kind of real in the beginning that it's 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 really kind of unsettling to see Mary Poppins settle into this <laughs> because when she comes in, she's floating all over the place like she like she's a like she's a demon. <laughs> well, I mean, she's she's clean, so that sets her apart from everything yeah, else. Yeah, but she's wearing really expensive clothes and 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 makeup, and she's c completely prim and proper. But when she, but that's the thing because when she comes down, she plays this version of Mary Poppins with her nose kind of up in the air the whole time. So when she's when she first gets there, she starts she doesn't walk around the house as much. She really is just floating like some paranormal activity shit mm. and she's got a look on her face like i will conquer this real <laughs> you know because she's got because she's got powers and uh <laughs> and you know and, it, and like i said this some of this shit plays out like black magic like when you saw her look in that mirror you were just kind of like Ugh. yeah yeah it creeped me out a little bit yeah yeah because because the mirror was like yeah we're we gonna do this what is it georgie it is wonderful to see you yes it is isn't it 
She's like, look at the ass on me. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'd fuck me. <laughs> that, that's the good one. I'm the bad one. <laughs> yeah. And I, love how, I love how the only thing he's surprised about is, oh, you seen the whole age, age at all. It's like, when you were a kid, you saw the bitch fly away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and do all kinds of bad yeah. shit. They, they oh. actually explain that. No, they do. Okay, no, they, right. that, they that forget, is, I guess. Or you know, well, you know what? That That is, uh, that's one of the things that I really actually, uh, that I like about uh that I like about Mary Poppins in this is that uh you know she does come down and say like you know y'all ain't gonna remember this you know oh. she's like I say like she's kind of a, a a witch or a demon when she's come down but really she's just the aunt that brings the family some really good drugs you know she <laughs> she spiked the tea when no one was looking and everybody's hallucinating and shit you know? <laughs> And they, and they <laughs> like look, look at uh, Manuel L- and Miranda. He's L- L- like, Miranda. damn, I'm high as fuck right now. <laughs> they said, you know, we've done this before, and it's obvious that the first time, a lot of people they couldn't remember what was happening because they nail it. They they really drive it home that Mary Poppins bring ma- brings magic to kids, and as far as we know, that magic that she brings to them is real. Uh, they make it clear like the, the once she's gone. It's gone from everybody's memory, which explains all the fantasy sequences. It's a cool way of saying you can either accept these sequences as as something that actually happened, like she really is magical, or maybe she's just that kind of person that has, you know, she brings so much cheer and happiness to people's lives that, you know, that people just feel so elevated around her. I really, uh, it's, but it's, I really like her. It's like she's that kind of playmate that has so much imagination that you just took completely get into yeah. whatever the scenario she sets up. Yeah, and you think it's real, and yeah, I I, I like that uh, a lot about it. Uh, it is funny that because the parents who who went through it when they were not, I mean, the other one's a sister, but the adults who went through it when they were young and can't remember now. Now when the boy's like, no, Mary, she's flying around, she's doing this. He's like, boy, I'll slap the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah. Stop lies. <laughs> <laughs> you, you better stop all that nonsense. <laughs> And no shit like that ever existed. Yeah. Not my childhood, not your childhood. No, you think I'm joking, but it really no, no, is no, like sure. that. You know, they, they've all forgotten what it's like. And that's that's really what, uh, you know, we see this theme all the time, but I actually like it right here. Because, you know, with uh, with Emily Blunt, her version in the movie, of uh, it's not a repeat of Julie Andrews, her performance. The way she plays this version. She's sassy. Uh, yeah, she's sassy. The way she, the way she plays this uh, version of her is... Uh, <laughs> She plays it with uh, like almost a cheerful arrogance. Mm-hmm. It's like you know, because she does have this look about her, like you know, these dumbass. <laughs> when she comes down here, she's like, and like I said, she looks at him like you know, I don't even want to be here, but somebody, but, got to, yeah. but yeah, somebody had got to help these kids, otherwise <laughs> they, this man's gonna fuck them up forever. And <laughs> but she's she's more of a person that plays like Julie Andrews was really more kind of aloof. Uh, she was wrapped up in the fun. Uh, Julie Andrews uh, played her with a, with you know, uh, in a fun, with a with way more fun spirit. Uh, this Mary Poppins that we see here is more of a, she's a, she disciplines more. Yes, she does. She's not quite Nanny McPhee, but it, it is like Julie Andrews. Would, I would think would be from the first book, and mm-hmm. this is this is this is Mary Poppins, uh, seven <laughs> books later. Who's been through, through through a lot of families and seen a lot yeah. of shit? It's just like I, I ain't got time. Yeah, <laughs> I I know what y'all are gonna do before you do it. No, no, <laughs> it's like the, yeah, <laughs> you know the first the first uh, Julie Andrews that we are the Julie Andrews version is yeah. more like all right, kids, if you settle down, we'll all have snacks. This version is like <laughs> shut the fuck up, <laughs> god damn it. The way that she uh, the way that she is playing this this Mary Poppins, uh. It's a great allegory for how children see certain adults, for how children see maybe their parents, if the parents are really cool, you know, because, in, you know, with the, with this, with the way they look up to her way, and the way people, the way she, because what she does is she always says when something happens and the kids are like, we went to this place where the animals were talking and the colors came out and we were, we, you know, flowers were dancing around and, and, and they tell them, tell, tell them, Mary, tell them that happened. And, and she's like, I don't know. Maybe it didn't. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> you know, but but no. The way they play that is like you know. You know how you have parents who play with you like that. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. because what happens is you know there's and they know that the world is new to, new for their kids. So there's sort of a comfort in parents I and mean, kids seeing their parents on adults say, you know what? Uh, 
you know, you've seen it all, but you're actually playing it up for me. There's a conf- there's a there's a confidence in that confidence. Mm-hmm. There's something about, you know, parents doing that where they can make moments lighten up even though they know what's going on. That's the spirit that this movie captures. Em- and it's all due to a lot to Emily Blunt. She gives a great perform- she, performance. She in this. really does. I mean, the the movie is hers and she she does she carries this role in such a way that I can't imagine somebody else doing it as well as her. Mm-hmm. She she knew exactly how to how to play it where you are still watching Mary Poppins but she's somewhat different and that that keeps it refreshing. And what's interesting is how with the uh, with the with, with the original movie it was all about the Banks kids are such terrors and everybody's like oh you can't control those kids they they just they just eat through nannies yeah and then Julie Andrews was so sweet and then they turned around these kids actually aren't bad well. The, that's because the banks kill children are still children. Oh yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Yes, the adults who are the ones. No, I like that they reversed that because yeah. that's how they were. They were a little bratty in the first one. Mm-hmm. They reversed it around to where the kids are actually the adults this time, and the the parents are, are at least the adults because you have Emily Mortimer who's the the bank's sister. Mm-hmm. You know, they they're the ones that need the help. And I tell you, man, Ben Winshaw in the movie, we're making fun of him, but there are moments in the film where I. I, I fell for him, and he has two heartbreaking moments where he really does sit down and just break down. I wasn't using that uh, and I, and you know, I, and those moments got to me, I man. Get, I, yeah, I like that. Though. There was a moment where everything is falling on his shoulders, and he just can't take it anymore. He just sits down and just starts blubbering, and, and I fell for him. You know what? He was he was at that point of being too pitiful, not just because of his wife dying, but just so many different things in his life where I was like, I feel like if she wasn't yeah. there, you still wouldn't have it together. Yeah, she no, she 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 was the one that was holding it down, obviously. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, but I think Ben Wishaw is such a, I, I like him as an actor, man. And I, and like I, I said, too. I thought that there were moments where this movie is such a fantasy where he did bring it in when things got real. He was the one that was able to grab it and 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 rein it in, and and you know, and I think he's that, he's good at breaking down, uh, having that like, listen, this is not going to happen. I don't care because this is. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to do the best I can. <laughs> well, he d- yeah, he does he does that thing when people don't know what to do, yeah. and, they, and they raise that hand twice, you know, like. <laughs> well, they you know they they they, they I, I don't know I like it. I tell you the one that I didn't really care for. I t- no, I liked her. I just thought that they didn't know what to do with her. Uh, it, it's, it is Emily Mortimer, right? Yeah, yeah. She's good. I actually like the character, but they didn't do a whole lot with her. They had her there because. They're the Banks children, right? And they had to have both of them there, right? They had to have both of them there, and I, I, I like Emily Mortimer and everything, and you know, you. Oh, I love her. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to give her much. She knows how to how to work with that and carry it. Yeah. But when you step back, you're like, this character had no story arc whatsoever. They gave her. And she's nothing. actually an important character. Yeah, she gave her nothing. Oh, she's an independent spirit, and she wears pants. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that was, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> she might be a lesbian. <laughs> you know? I'm just gonna say. It. <laughs> well, talking about the things that I like in the movie. And I'm gonna tell you there are things that I actually love in this movie. Can I tell you something I love? What's what's up? Uh, well, it's it's Rob Marshall directing it, and mm-hmm. whenever you're going to make a, a a movie of a musical, Rob Marshall is the guy you you call out. Yeah, Chicago. the guy who did uh, Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, Rob Marshall. If you don't know, that's the guy that did uh, he did he did uh, Chicago, and uh, he also did uh, for Disney, which is what this is about. He did uh, is it was that Disney Into the Woods? Into the Woods. Uh, I think oh. that was theirs. Okay, not yeah. sure, but that yeah. was, he did Into the Woods, which which had Emily Blunt in it. So with, with that, I was like, okay, I, I I know he's gonna know what to do, and uh, a lot of his staging I liked a lot, and it was that first big musical number when they go into the bathtub in an underwater world. I was mm-hmm. like, man, this I love. The the more he pours it on, the more elaborate, the better. Oh, you talk. Oh, you so you the part where they uh, jump into the bathtub and they and they and start they, and, they, and like it turns into an ocean. Yeah, it turns into Aquaman for a little. Yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, which movie am I seeing? Right <laughs> <now?"> <laughs> yeah, man. And, and then they and then they go in and there's the the other animation. Well, you know what? I was going to tell you that right now because those are the things I was going to tell you that I love because you know you're right. Uh, Rob Marshall, he knows how to. Uh, he knows how to stage a musical. Mm-hmm. And there's things in here that I love, including some of the music. But the things that I love, I, I don't really like in context to this movie. Yeah, I know. Uh, Lynn manuel Miranda. Man, that, that dude is talented. He is. He is an amazing talent. Uh, and, you know, and I, when I look at him, I loved his performance in the movie. But I don't like him 
in the movie. He ain't nothing but a Puerto Rican uh, Dick Van Dyke, man. Well, that's the funny thing. It's almost like this, like like everybody. Is he Puerto Rican? I think. Yeah, he's just a Puerto Rican. He's just a Puerto Rican chimney sweep. You know, you were you know accurate. I'm just, just laughing because I didn't expect you to say. That. Oh no, he just beat me to it because I was thinking was okay. The problem with the first Mary Poppins everybody talks about is Dick Van Dyke. Exactly. You, you don't get an American to do that terrible British accent. And they said, no, we got it fixed this time. <laughs> this time we got a Puerto Rican to do that <laughs> accent. To do that accent. <laughs> a Puerto Rican man. <laughs> Huh? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Hello, Mary Mine. <laughs> is it bad? Chai. It's it's not as bad. It's like okay, well, okay, so because the bar is where the bar is set, right. but it's still not convincing. It's, well, I would say that they probably had him do that because see, this is the problem. You don't know how much they did it to to honor the first one. And how much is just because well, it's not right. Well, the only thing is, is that no, they did to honor the first one because he is the he is Dick Van Dyke. Again, this movie, it's uh, you know what, it's not so much in, at times a a a, 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 a sequel that is a remake. Yeah. The he look, they took Dick Van Dyke, they made him brown, made him Puerto Rican, and he changed him from a chimney sweep into a a, a street lamp lighter. Because chimney sweeps don't live long. They, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and they they die of black lung at twenty six years. It's a little old. bit safer, right? <laughs> And and it and it's, it's the same role. They yeah. just need him to be the same person, mm -hmm. and that is even why they said. And, and you know what? This would be easy for you. Just do the same shitty Cockney accent. Uh -huh. <laughs> but even then, he's still better than Dick, Dick than Dick yeah. Van Dyke. Yeah. Man, I was almost brought to tears when they had uh, when they had the uh, the animated sequence in here. It was because it was it was Disney returning to to the animation and. They brought it back to one of my favorite styles. Uh, it, it was, it was similar to the style that they did for something like 101 Dalmatians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I saw that man, I was loving this. Yeah. I was loving this. Uh, the, I was loving the style. I was. I loved the sequence. Yeah, me too. But oh, it reminds me of Bedknobs and Broomsticks. Yeah, too. Yeah, a lot like that. And it's, that? that sequence is a lot like that. It's also a lot like Mary Poppins <laughs> because the reason why they did it is because they again. They make they're playing it kind of safe. They're trying to like go beat for beat sometimes to what they did in Mary Poppins. Why did we do an animated sequence in this? Because we had an animated sequence in the other one, and which was which was a lot of fun, which was great. But you know, uh, this one feels like okay. It really does feel like man, we're trying to really work this in some kind of way because they actually try to work it into the movie, mm -hmm. the story, and it doesn't feel natural really. When you brought some of these things together, maybe I didn't like them in context of the film, but I like them as standalone things. Lynn Manuel Miranda in that that uh what was it called the uh uh the uh the book you can't judge a book by its cover or the book has no cover or whatever yeah yeah um uh, that is a that's a great musical animated sequence. Bucks and mares, cubs and doe. No, I haven't sung in years. Sing for us, Mary Poppins. Do sing for us. And no, I couldn't possibly. D flat major. It's a. I, like I, I, I like would. That. Well, you know what? You like that? If you if you saw the rest of it, the, the rest of that sequence is fantastic. Yeah. That that song. I mean, that that's the most. That's the best song in the whole movie. It's the standout song that they have in the uh, in the movie. It's a, it's a, it's an amazing set piece that they have right there. Like I said, I was almost brought to tears by that. Here's the thing about the original Mary Poppins. I, I don't know that I've ever sat and watched it all the way from the beginning. I just know pieces. But what I do know is that it has has. It's one of the, the 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 movies with some of the most memorable songs. Mm -hmm. I mean, this this three that come to mind right off the bat, and I'm sure if I watch it, it'd be others. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm I'm so used to hearing that and singing that. This movie, I can't tell you the name of any well, of the songs. Chim Chimney, Chim Chimney, yeah, and, yeah, and, and, and uh, and, sugar, and su super califragilistic expialidocious. Hey, Poppins. This movie can't even touch no, <laughs> no. what Mary Poppins. You will not walk no. out of here singing any of these songs no, in this won't. one. But when you hear supercalifragilistic expelladocious, you know why you know how to even say that? Because you're like, get out of my fucking head! <laughs> you know? It's no yeah. man. It's yeah. do you, it's not even close. Do you know that's why Mary Poppins is such a classic? Do you know for people who haven't even seen the movie, how many amazing songs mm -hmm. that still last till this day? Oh, I know. All right, now here's where I really have a problem with this movie, man. Uh, my problem with this movie is that uh, it, it's, it's, it goes back to what Disney has been doing with a lot of these remakes. Y'all got to get somebody to write these endings. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all got to stop writing the movie and get to the end and being like, "Fuck it," and moving on, because, because they, 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 you know, wasn't this ending a mixture of the ending of the original Mary Poppins with the ending of that Winnie the Pooh of that movie? Winnie the Pooh movie, man, that we saw? <laughs> okay, first of all, this movie it has it. Make y'all got they, 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 lately, y'all have been had some ambitious remakes and sequels and y'all have some of the laziest endings yes. i have ever seen now this this has a mary poppins problem for one of the main problems in the movie because mary poppins you look i we told you they they introduce problems for this family that mary poppins comes down to help with and these problems are severe they're dire man people's lives are going to be ruined by this and it's kind of hard to introduce these kind of problems which are pretty much grounded problems when you have living in your house pretty much a sorceress slash superhero. I was, I was going to mention this because <laughs> uh, all, there's, there's no tension in this movie when you have someone there who can do magic. Who can do, and, and, and first of all, I keep saying first of all, no, there's a lot of shit. No, <laughs> no. And being kind of shitty about it. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but I mean, the, 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 the root of this problem is, is, is such a dumbass kind of problem. Where I'm like, I, I can imagine her going, you know what? I'm gonna just let them twist. No, for a man, no, I can't do that. No, cause, cause, <laughs> no, I can't, I can't let, I, I can't, I can't let Mary Poppins off the hook right here because <laughs> there are people. I'm not gonna say what the problem is in this movie, but there are a lot of people who are about to die trying to help some people out. And Mary oh, Poppins, yeah. and she's just on the sidelines, uh-huh. just looking. I mean, <laughs> I mean, people, hey, here. people are about to die. Cool. And, and 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 wait a minute, hold on. And then, <laughs> right, and then on top of almost dying, they are about to fail at this problem. Like it's the last minute. They have everybody's about to just lose. And she's like, Oh well, I guess I can help. And she just floats. And I'm like, bitch, you could have done this the whole time. But of course. <laughs> Those people that almost died, they were poor. No, <laughs> you know, no. <laughs> no, no, because she didn't mind helping them throughout the movie. And all of a sudden, because we need an action-packed climax, you know? <laughs> it's all and, then, uh, and then, and then, and, and really, it's as simple. <laughs> it's as <laughs> this is bullshit, man. Oh, it's such this, bullshit. Uh, <laughs> is it really? it, no, it, oh. it is. Oh, yeah, no, no. no. The, 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 the way they the way they wrap this up, the the problem itself, and and, and what they say they need to do to fix it. Well, you're like, what? And then the way it gets resolved. Uh, it's it's as simple <laughs> as Mary Poppins popping her umbrella and just floating five feet to help somebody. And I said, you are a piece of shit for doing that, man. You teach him a lesson. This, this is, <laughs> you gotta okay, learn something. No, a lesson is a spoonful of sugar. Now I'm about to fucking die. This is the second time this year that they've had two hours of severe problems, of serious problems, and we've spent this whole time trying to figure out how we're going to solve this, how we're going to solve this, and then somebody pops out who has nothing to do with the movie <laughs> at all and says these words, "All fired, everything's back to normal." <laughs> <laughs> and it's no, 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 you don't get to do that. It sounds like he had the head rider going, look. Y'all got me till five o'clock, so it's gonna be what it's gonna be. <laughs> the only thing that kept me from getting mad about that was that we had seen it happen already. So yeah. I was like, they're gonna, "They're gonna do this." And what? In that in that finding poo? Or yeah, what, that finding. Yeah, the Winnie the Pooh. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, it's oh. the same. It's almost like they got the same writer to uh-huh. write the write the end. <laughs> And he just he, and he just ganked the he just ripped them off. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll get you an ending. Give them the last page out yeah. the script and then put it on the other one. Copy. Yeah. Paste. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> to me for the movie, it's saying that listen, we're going to in this film, we're going to wow people. We're going to dazzle and bedazzle people. We're going to get them with all the money that they know Disney can afford to give them all these great effects and set pieces and all the highest talent and best talent. And then to do all that, they know they got you through most of the movie and they can't get one of the most difficult parts down, which is writing a proper ending. It's to, to me, that is uh, that's a cheat. It's almost cheating people. I know people will pay for this and they'll be fine, but that's almost cheating people out, the, uh, you know, out of their time for that, man. Give an ending that makes uh, and that really means something. They have a special cameo in the movie. 
Uh, I will, and you know what? Fuck it, we'll see. Uh, Dick Van Dyke comes into the film. And I don't yeah, want to say what he does, but he did. I will say this about Dick Van Dyke. His name on the, uh, the trailer. Dick Van Dyke, uh, for his role in the film, he not only is great for the moments that he's in there, but I, I don't know if that was a special effect, but he still has some moves in him. Man, I, I got to say that, you know, however I felt about the movie, when he came out, I just felt this wave of joy come over me. And when he started dancing, I was just laughing just out of glee. I was, I was just I was just so happy to see him up there doing it. I mean, he doesn't do it. A, he's up there for a long time, but he gets up there and, you know, shows a little bit of what he's got and then he sits yeah. down like, "Whoo, I'm tired." I was yeah. like, "I don't think that's the character. I think that's just him." And you know what? He actually had He's like 90. Uh, yeah. Man, you know what? Yeah, he's, but, he's he's that old. He's still spry. And oh no, spry. he can still move. I, yeah. I bet you. I bet you that's not not special. And he, I bet you, he, was, he was like, look, if I'm if y'all gonna do this, mm -hmm. you gotta let me have. Let this. me have this. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and he and, and he only and has he one take. I mean, yeah, he only has a like when I say a handful of lines, I'm talking about just barely a palm. But those lines he delivered. He does <laughs> with such great delivery. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was in, in the and he had one moment of physical comedy that he did, and it was wondrous. Yeah, it's. I, the, that being said, when he comes in, uh, the movie plays out in a way where it just made me happy uh, at the end. It's got some heavy flaws in there, as you've heard us say. But they did end this on, they ended on, they ended it on a on a really colorful and, and just joyous note, man. I, I really not there. Right? <laughs> it was like yeah. <laughs> my kids are dying. No, but it's, it's <laughs> no, it's, it was it was uh, an, literally an uplifting note that they ended this movie on. Yeah, uh, I give it a I give it a mad name, man. Uh, yeah, it's I, I'm a lot like you, where there's just there's pieces of it that I thought were were wonderful, and there's pieces that I thought were uh, not good. I I, I have a, a hard time with this movie in principle, in as much as it never justifies its, its existence. Mm -hmm. Outside of just wanting to make a Mary Poppins movie because they know people want to see it. Because Disney's remaking everything. Right, right, <laughs> right. But that's, that, that's the only reason it exists because outside of Emily Blunt, they don't really do anything that improves on the original. I feel like if you are a big Mary Poppins fan and you've been looking forward to this, hey, it's, it's a matinee for you for sure. For me personally, if I'm honest, it's more of a high rental. All right. I, you know, I will say that I think what made me – not even go the rental route is that I I did walk out of here feeling really good, man. Yeah. I walked out of here. I mean, I walked out genuinely happy when I left out of here. I wasn't as enchanted by the balloon sequence as you were. And, and I feel like it, like if I was, since it's the last part, that would have pushed me over. Okay. Or maybe I'll, maybe Mary just got me high as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on that shit. <laughs> Push that kid in the right. Yeah, yeah. God damn. That kid is gone. <laughs> Do you like what you've just seen? I'm just going to answer for you and say yes. So go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Yes, this one right here. And if you really love us, go to DoubleToasted.com where you can not only find a longer form version of this video, but also the live streams that we do almost every night of the week. Support us over at D2Merch.com. And remember to always stay toasty. <laughs>